Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream where we are going to be continuing our game as Mexico. We are the Mexican Empire, essentially, although someone had a massive go at me in the comments on YouTube for calling a socialist nation an empire, but we're an empire. I mean, most of our focuses was about regaining our nor northern territories, and that was all part of the Mexican Empire, so that would seem to be an empire to me. Okay, we are, I believe, preparing for another war against the USA. The Entente actually won over here, so are the communes out? Is that what's happening? You've gone communist. You probably haven't. Little Africa's still fighting against Portugal, but it looks like Portugal's actually got the upper hand. So yeah, it looks like that we were getting ready for a war against the CSA. Although we are still very low on political power, but we are generating more, and actually generating it pretty quickly. So I think we'll manage. We are also retraining our troops, because I believe that we just finished a war against Central America down there. And we took quite a lot of attrition, if memory serves. Which we are now trying to overcome. Yeah, we've <laughs> we lost a lot of tanks. <clears throat> All right, so we are apparently improving air forces. That seems reasonable, unless it's forty-three and we're not getting these yet. Why are we not getting those yet? Are we out of factory space? Um, not really. In which case, I'm going to say let's switch to the oh. To one of these. Um, more concentrated industry or faster efficiency growth. I'm going to go with the concentrated industry. Hey, Dennis. Okay, so. Ah, this is probably why we're so low on stuff and things. Because we are recruiting a bunch of units. Loads of artillery. We can probably dial down the artillery production. Likewise, the support equipment. Artillery has already been dialed down. Support equipment has not yet. Unless, of course, we were saving up for getting support equipment for these guys. But it does not look like that is the case. Except maybe here. You can easily afford that. Do we want support AT? I don't think we do. Okay, cool. So, yeah. We are, I think, just waiting for that war to happen. We do have a lot of fighters. Have we deployed them? Kind of, but not really. Let's go ahead and deploy 200 here, and I think I'm going to grab another wing of 200. No, not 700. 200 to fly here. Both of you on that, but just during the day. Okay, a socialist empire is like a paradox. Yeah, it's not impossible, though. Alright, so we are getting some more tanks. Oh yes, my uh, Vroom Vroom Bang Bang units, and then the Shooty Shooty Bang Bangs. I remember now. I was, I was having a very, very original moment in how to rename things. We've gone with light tanks and light SPs. That's probably because of our manufacturer options. Yeah, there were basically no custom companies for Mexico, which is a little bit disappointing. Just like there were no general portraits, like not even generic ones. I'd much rather have a generic portrait than none. And we are still training a whole bunch of people, and we're probably just going to be dividing those units out. We're going to be trying to chop them in half. Probably roll this up with the infantry while we go after this with the tanks, probably. How are we doing for motorized? We are low on motorized. So we're low on everything. Like, we really need to get our production up to scratch. We are more than enough on infantry equipment, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and cancel you. I think I might just queue up another bunch of light tanks. And also some more SPR. There, we'll do that. And we'll drop the Dravy Navy down. Really? We're, we're short on steel? That genuinely surprises me. We are as well. Alright then, Brazil. Go ahead and sell me some. Mordred smash! At some point. Hopefully. Right, we have a couple more uh, units that we can add to the Red Order. 
Oh, you two apparently need to be trained. That can be arranged. Yeah, we are very short on equipment for them. That's not good. And what are you complaining about? A shortage of tanks. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> I can definitely see why. But now that we have the uh, access to Texan industry, we should be improving. Also, I seem to remember that we just finished the focuses, which gave us cause on the reorganize the north stuff. So this was a big part of the problem. This is probably why we still have negative political power. In fact, I think that's where we ended the last session was the end of the rebellion. So that we could actually use the American focus stuff. More land doctrine, better electronics and oil. Don't really need those. And then otherwise we are just producing, so we're getting the infrastructure in order to then build the factories. I think we probably want two, two con. Alright, construction. We're going to go with produ production efficiency growth. Yeah, growth, definitely. Because I quite often switch around to my production systems. Alright, you guys are almost ready for deployment, so are you. We'll have a whole bunch more people training. Ah, and all of this is now cored. Excellent. So we'll go ahead and stick you there. Go ahead and appear. End of today. Nope. Okay, that was not what I really expected, but whatever. We'll also go and throw you here. That's what I was expecting. I'm going to put you in the training army, you, and you, and you, all join the reds. Start getting some attack preparation, planning preparation bonus thing. What doctrine are we? I have a feeling we are mobile warfare. No, we're Grand Battle Land. Interesting. Lots and lots of planning preparation then. And the stability's gone up again because we are over minus 50. I missed the last stream. What's the world like? The world is... Very Chinese dominated. The Entente is winning. Like the communes were defeated rather soundly, I seem to remember. I think the communes took over Germany. Then the Entente came in behind the communes, took out the communes, and are now with themselves invading Germany. Union of Britain still stands. Uh, CSA, well, in the Americas, the communists have actually done pretty well. Like we have the United Communes of Brazil, the United Mexican States, and the Combined Syndicates of America. But they all need to be brought under one vision, one, one leadership, in order to really spread communism around the world as it needs to be done. And that is, of course, going to be under Mexican leadership. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right, so we have no national focus. I'm quite happy to just let this recover for the moment. I mean, we've already got most of the focuses. We just finished our invest in the infantry so we can get some more research bonuses for Grand Battle Plan, which will probably be quite a good idea. And then either of those. Yeah, we definitely want to modernize. You know what? We're, we're, we're just going to go ahead and do that. So how many units are you able to field to see? Whoa! 500 divisions. Um, To my 56. So we are outnumbered 10 to 1. I like those odds. Now we're definitely going to need to wait until we have the equipment of stockpiles. Blimey! That was a lot worse than I expected. And we need some more steel, which we will buy from the Union of Britain. Sure, why not? We can reduce the amount of artillery we are due. we already have. Yeah, it's just the tank divisions that we need. How good are my division templates? Oh, they're all 40. Okay, so my divisions are very strong. Very strong, in fact. Nice amount of breakthrough. Although these are only light tanks. They're going to struggle against the heavier armor, which the CSA inevitably has because they have American industry. You know it's an alternate history on the Americas of the Bastion of Communism. <laughs> That's true.
Oh, that's a good point. I had a brilliant comment about that. Let me just go and look it up again, because I think it earned a readout. Let me just, oops, I just started PDF. No, it didn't mean that. Right, comments. Show me the comments. See if I can find it. Oh, where are you? Do 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 do. Where are you? Not that one. There we go. As an American, this ti the title of the video scared me, so I had to build a wall. I, I appreciated that. I thought that was a good comment. Right, so you are done, and you are also a 40 combat with. We're actually using light SPGs. That's why we have such a glut of artillery. That makes sense. Alright. We have a bunch more troops here that need to be trained. And you lot trained. You, and you, and you, and you, and you into there. Now it would be nice if the CSA was actually at war with someone else, but it doesn't look like we're going to have that luxury. And we have, oh wow, we have available civilian factories. Okay, so we need to quite desperately produce some more production areas. Uh, is there a reason I haven't built this one up yet? Because I think I've already got all the things that give the free infrastructure, so I'm pretty sure I can just go and build anything up at this point. Yields. So again, where do we have the most factory potential? Yucatan, Oksana. Surprisingly little here in the Americas. Or in America, rather. So we'll just go those two. So we're going to go full and full, and then full and full. Like so. Okay. And Nicaragua, you can go to the bottom. So we start actually getting the Kansas f factories because Kansas is about to finish itself. The other thing I can do is fortify the living daylights out of our border with the CSA and then just tank them. So we actually build a wall. I kind of like the sound of that. Oh, we've already been doing that. Aha. Right, so I was planning to hold this line while we take over this area. That makes sense. Uh, do I want anything higher than level 5s? Probably not. Uh, we'll go to level 6. We'll do that. And then get back to the production. Yeah, we'll build those forts pretty quickly. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. And training goes on apace. Most of the tanks are now done, so we should be starting to build up some pretty good planning preparation. Do I mean to have infantry in the tank army? No, I probably don't. And in fact, all of these infantry need training. Something's gone wrong here. Probably while I was uploading or upgrading my unit templates. Right, so we just got that. Now we can get another 10% breakthrough for our entire army. Yes, please! And light tank 3s. Excellent, 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 excellent. So we are going to go and get the light SPG 3s. And we are also going to invest a bunch of points into upgrading the light tank template. We're going to go with... Um, armor, probably, because I'm a little bit worried about how easily destroyed they will be. We'll do that. So, replace light tank with the Mark 1 and the Mark 1. Okay, good stuff. And we will need to import some more steel, amazingly. 
which we can do from Britain. Go. And I think we will need to buy some more. French Republic, how about you send me some too? Lovely. That was this. We could get more excavation. That would save us having to produce those resources. Am I producing rubber and oil? Not a huge amount. Am I building motorized? I am. But again, not a huge amount. Oh, I don't even have those yet. It takes a day! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, did I just do something wrong? I have a feeling I might have. Uh, yeah, I was probably waiting for that. Um, is that a huge problem? Hopefully not. I made a, may have made a bit of a whoopsie. Although it was a 100% increased speed. So maybe not, I don't know. What flag does the CSA have? It has the CSA flag, which is that flag. It's like the updated one. They Apparently they get an event or something which allows them to change their flag. And that's what they went with. Um, do we want to start getting mechanized? Probably. I mean, I'm already on... Ooh, yeah, service by requirement. I probably do want to become mechanized. Get some more armor, especially with my light tank divisions. That would just make them more hardy. In all honesty, the faction leader for Mexico does look like a blonde Trump. Or non-blonde Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of see what you're coming from. Kind of. <laughs> Alright. Americans are moving around some more. I do wonder where most of their troops are, because they have like 500 divisions. Where are they all? Are they off fighting in foreign wars? Yes. Many, many foreign wars. Right, you guys need to get trained. You guys have been trained and need to be added to the plan. Do we have sufficient resources to build another set? Probably not, because we need a bunch more light SPGs. Like Once these forts are done, our production should go into overdrive. But that will take a little bit of patience. Also, how many fighters do we have? We have a thousand fighters, and I have a feeling we're going to need most of those in the air. So upgrading our air bases in this area is going to be important. Yeah. Let's also get those to the top. So we get all of this stuff done, we finish the infrastructure, we finish the, uh, the production, and that should be good. All right, we have modernized the high command which was here. So now we can purge the high command, which costs us 100 political power, but gains us division recovery rate plus 10% and political power gain, or we reform it, which gives us division organization. I don't really need the political power gain. So I think I'm going to go for the division organization. Ooh, there's another research slot there. I think we're going to get re infantry as our backbone, then the military science, which will give us the extra research point, and then we will get the reformed military. And we do have a whole bunch of stuff to be trained, but that is fine. Motorized becoming positive. I mean, we are overcoming those deficits, but it's a pretty slow process. And that's probably because we just changed the uh, tank templates. Australasian Confederation? Really? 
Ooh, Japan took it. Interesting. Japan is looking pretty strong. Japan's having a good game. So is Ching. Is Ching at war with anyone else? They're at war with Japan. Huh. I'm surprised that Japan's doing so well considering the size of Ching. And it kind of looks like there's a bit of a stalemate going on here as well. Alright. Let's see if we can get to speed 5 just to get this stuff on the move. Because we're definitely going to be suffering casualties when we go off to the US. I mean, they're going to be very well equipped, very well supplied. We really do need to just blitz them down, which is actually where the light tank divisions will come in. Rather heavily. And the massive amount of planning preparation that we are going to get. Right, that's the SPGs, so we need to start upgrading to those. And the good thing about using the SPGs is they can actually have variants, which means they can become more... Uh, they can have more firepower than artillery. Plus they're faster, though that doesn't matter so much in the infantry divisions. In the light tank divisions it will matter a lot. What's happening in Europe? French Republic is still fighting. Oh, civil war still going. I'm not at war, so I could go and help out the CNTFAI. I kind of like that idea. It'll also get me some combat experience, so I can send four units. You know what? Let's do that. One, two, three, four. New unit. Choose my top. Tank General, which is definitely you. And then we will send CNTFAI volunteers. Let me just go and change your unit colour to be red. That's just gone down. Why? That was literally just four units. Ah. Um, not really using artillery, though I do have it in my units. That's still doing. Oh, we we'll probably finished these. Let's continue the support equipment. Why did that just change? Fine, I'll get rid of one tank. See what they can do, if anything. And then all of you assign to that, just to make sure you are. Just go ahead and spawn. Right, you need training. We have a couple more who have been trained. Marvellous. We will go and attach them to the purples. And get that planning preparation going. Who's the British leader? British leader, uh, Mosley. Yeah, I, I do remember the totalists doing quite well. Like, I'm totalist, Mosley's totalist. There's, there's a couple of others. Oh, I clicked on Carlos Spain previously. Okay. Italian Federation is not sending me their promised goods stop trading with them then we'll buy a little bit from you and a little bit from Greece I guess uh, I'm probably going to need to research the steel production stuff because obviously we're having problems <clears throat> right 
you must all be on scraping the barrel by now. Yeah. This civil war's been going on for a while. Mosley not at war with the Entente. Apparently not. He's not actually at war with anyone. Right, because the communes peaced out. Against both Germany and the Entente. Oh, Union of Britain's here with some heavy tanks. Now I'm arriving with the lights. Never fear, cavalry's here. Need to see who's actually on this border. Because they're fighting someone, I just can't see who. Right, who's here? Are you telling me there is no one there? I do believe you are. In that case, we'll see if we can take out the Carlists first. I mean, we can really attack from any direction. Where are you going? No, chase him. You go and attack that. You go and attack that. Go. Zaragoza's fallen. And we'll just see if we can get a cut off across the top. Because we are light tanks, and that's kind of what we do. In fact, let's have you attacking into this. Take them out from behind while you get the cutoff going. I like that idea. Right, off we go. In fact, let's just go here. Let's take over these. Taking that, you're attacking me across a river, good luck with that. My turn to counter. And there we go, cut off. Beautiful! We'll see if we can get a double line in here. Which we are. You go and assist from behind. In fact, I may as well just do this. And suddenly the CNTFAI are looking rather stronger. Namur is the capital at the moment, CNTFAI. I'm um, sorry, of communists. Bearing in mind that this is 1943, like, we, this is the stream that started last time. Things have happened. Okay, good. Nice bit of overrun there. A couple of dis divisions destroyed. Let's just make that our objective so we can continue getting the planning preparation. That is a mechanized. Let's get mechanized two. And are you seriously telling me there is no one here? You are seriously telling me there is no one here. So, Bogos, here we come. Hell, Bilbao too. Why not? <laughs> oh, you're attacking me. That's unfortunate. Uh, stay. Stay here. 